Hi Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my yarn adventure video this week. My scorched earth challenge and update on the cowls I have been doing. So let's get started. My scorched earth challenge which kicked off in March for me was about using my yarn stash. Yarn that I have bought over the years with no particular project in mind. You all know what I mean. You go to the yarn shop or you see it nicely discounted and you think oh i have to get some of that i'll think of a project and you put it away and you never do or you rarely do and it just mounts up until you have so much yarn and i've decided i'm going to use that yarn in the scorched earth challenge and only buy yarn when i need it for a set project and i don't have it and that's my plan for this year and i managed to do that in march We'll see if I can do it for 12 months. Anyway, in March, I used, I made three lovies. I used Lime Brand Ice Cream Yarn and Moda Villa Krilly Yarn from my stash. And I made the Bunny Tea Cozy with Knitting Essentials Yarn I bought in the UK a few years ago and some yarn scraps. And Nan's Next Knots Cow that I'm taking part in I used up my um, Spotlight USA style yarn and for Olivia Stitch Cowl I am using the Lion Brand Pound of Love yarn which I have said I have heaps of in my stash. So during March my metrage I used up was 1334.2 metres which converts to 1457.95 yards which wasn't a bad effort considering I did other projects that I had actually bought yarn for. So yeah, so far so good. As a family, we're doing a bit of a Scorched Health Challenge today. During the week, we watched a David Attenborough video on how as human race, we consume too much, we waste too much. A few years back we really cut down on our food wastage, we're a lot more careful about that and we decided we're going into winter here, it was time to declutter and have a bit of a clean out. So we now have three bags, I mean black garbage bags full of clothes to go to a charity shop and half a bag of craft supplies, some of it's yarn scraps, some of it's Reeves, he does art. He likes to paint and do different art crafts. So, yes, that is all good quality stuff to go to a charity shop that someone else can use and they can make some money for charity with. The rubbishy stuff just went in the bin and there wasn't a lot of that. So that was our Scorched Earth Challenge for um, as a family and my March yarn usage. Got lost there for a minute. <laughs> Okay, so my cowls, I'm doing the Olivia Stitch cowl I've shown you before, but the update is I have done this in the lavender, which I believe is called the Floret Stitch, and I had to watch a tutorial to learn how to do it because I've never done it before. I am a little behind in this cowl. This week's is the basket weave stitch, so I probably won't get that done until tomorrow night. But that's my Olivia Stitch Cowl update. And my Nan's Next Knots Luck of the Draw Cowl. Her colour was also this violet colour. And I did that section. I am doing the lap gown. I will stop when I think it gets too big. This week's colour was back to number one. I think I left the comment to her that's pink for me. No, it's not. It's actually yellow. So I have next colour to do is yellow. I have to do that tomorrow night. I'm a little behind. Um, we haven't had number four yet. So there you go. They are my updates on my cows. The Amigurumi Long with Kitty Mum. I have finished that, um, the project. I just As in, I've made all the pieces. I did something a little bit more difficult than the Octo pals here and I need to put it all together but I need a quiet day when I'm in the mood to sew it all together so I do a good job of it but that is coming that will be April's Amigurumi along piece um 
you might have noticed a few additions to the back the witch she's about 35 years old she was a gift from one of my sons for my birthday she actually does make noise and move but I don't have the battery for her discovered her I'd forgotten all about her in our family cleanup today and no I'm not giving her away and if I do get the battery maybe I'll show you next video what she does and the other addition is my mannequin Ta -da! I have covered her up for modesty today I came home Thursday um, Thing had been to a place where he buys the honey that's grown on the tablelands you can't get it in supermarkets that we like as a family and he noticed next door there was a shop fitting shop and this was in the window and he went in to find out how much it was the lady said oh it's second hand it's half price and he bought it for me because he thought it would be great for my charity market stalls to display some of my stuff so that was a really nice surprise to get on Thursday and which brings me to tomorrow's Sunday and I am doing a stall at our local community markets and that's why I'm busy tonight I'll be packing up what I'm taking and loading up the car because we get up early and yes she'll be coming with us haven't named her yet she won't be wearing this I haven't decided what I'll put on her yet if it's nice and sunny and looking hot I might put a little um, crocheted halter top that I've made that can go on her um, Friday the 9th was Reeb's birthday it's been a busy couple of days we went out to a Japanese restaurant um, it's a local Japanese restaurant it's only small but it has the Japanese government award they rarely give it out only a few restaurants in the world have it where it certifies they serve authentic authentic Japanese food this restaurant in normal times is really hard to get a booking out and you can only go there if you have a booking we did manage to get a booking for Reeb's birthday not so many people around and it was lovely the food reminded Reeb's and I of Aomori I think that's how you pronounce it, a place in Japan very similar to that um, thing hasn't been to Japan Reeves and I went to Japan a couple of years ago when Thing kicked us out. Um, my kitchen was being renovated with builders and him and he didn't want us underfoot. And it's, back then it was fairly inexpensive for Australians to go to Japan. So he said, go to Japan for a holiday and keep out of my way and come back and it'll all be done. And it was. I came back to a beautiful new kitchen the way I wanted the Thing thing is the sort of person if I say this is how I want it he doesn't deviate and it can be annoying with a shopping list because I'll say oh you didn't get he goes wasn't on the shopping list that's it if it's not on the shopping list he don't get it so when we were renovating the kitchen I had to be absolutely clear of everything I wanted because he wouldn't deviate from that list but I did come back to a beautiful kitchen after a great holiday with my son so yeah it's been a busy few days Friday after work going out to dinner which is not something we do a lot of and then today Saturday cleaning up and reducing our, our clutter for scorched earth challenge and then to this afternoon or late tonight because it's late afternoon already it's about five o'clock packing up the car for the charity market sorting out what I'm taking and tomorrow the charity market I'll come home after the markets I'll have a shower and I'll crash for a big nap and I am fortunate Reeves has offered to cook dinner tomorrow night which is awesome so there you have it guys I've waffled on a bit but that's life I hope you're enjoying life at the moment and finding something to be enthused and excited about like I am I am um, can't think what I'll do next for another video I have been working on a, a project one part was crochet the next part was knitted the knitted part is really hurting my hands probably because last night Reeb said to me you better stop you're overdoing it and you will regret it your hands will be sore tomorrow and yes they are sore so hopefully next video I'll have some special project to show you that I've been working on so guys, 
Until next time, stay safe, take care of each other and make sure you have one crafty day. Bye for now.